Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming back to the Feed the Soul podcast with your host, Alejandro Soler. I just want to reiterate the whole point of my podcast being uh, the whole mission of it is actually just to inspire, to educate, and to feed the soul uh, just by giving uh, ordinary people or ordinary people uh, a platform to talk about their journey in life um, and just to inspire everyone to take uh, pride in their own journey. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to introduce my guest, uh, Prashant. Thank you so much for coming on to the podcast, man. How have you been? I'm doing good, Alejandro. How are you doing? You know, I'm I'm blessed. I'm counting my blessings. You know, I'm, I'm a little tired right now, but, you know, this this definitely wakes me up. I, I love being able to talk to people, and especially with you. I haven't, I haven't seen you in a while, especially since, like, high school. So uh, you want to give uh, people a little short introduction about yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Prashant Pabu. Most people like to call me Pabu, which is my last name. That is my rap name, if some of y'all didn't know. I am a rapper on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, and Apple Music. I rapped since seventh grade. I was kind of trash at first, and then how it kept moving on and on and on, striving to success and not leaving it aside. You know, the grind never stops, as if I do my rights. Basically, at that point, I have to move on and on and do me no matter what. Forget the haters, what they say. I still got better at this, but there's room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. I mean, for anyone, even if they're a professional, man, there's always room to improve. So I like the way that you come in with that type of mentality. Now, I want to start off with like um, your like the beginning of your path of your journey uh, in becoming an artist. You said you started in seventh grade. Yeah, I did. I mean, what I just made, what made you start in seventh grade. Like what made you like get into it at that age? Well, no, uh, I was in the lunch tables in middle school. I saw people freestyling at that point. And I was like, hey, hey, I want to join. I want to join. And they saw me. They're like, I don't know, bro. Can you think you can do it? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'll just go for it. And then I was going on and on and on. They, they're like, hey, man, um, there's something I need to tell you. I don't think you can do it. I'm sorry. You're just not good. And I'm like, well, that's okay. Well, I did well, I took the heat from them at first, but I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna leave it aside and not keep on rapping and rapping. I did some rapping in eighth grade after seventh grade. And then it didn't work out. I was keep on saying the same thing, thing, couldn't rhyme. And then ninth grade, getting better. And then sophomore year. This happened at Cedar Ridge, by the way. I was going on to random lunch tables and rap to them. And then seven, not in seventh grade, junior year, I was rapping to them. At that point, going each and every lunch table. And then they saw me like, hey, man, you think you can rap? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, man. Let's go on. I'm like, go for it. They're like, go for it. And I'm like, spitting, spitting. They're like, yeah, man, I don't think you can barely rhyme. And, and then senior year, my trombone section haven't heard me rap. I played band, by the way, in case if you didn't know. And then they're like, hey, Pabu, I'm sorry, bro. I don't think you can do it. I like constructive criticism helps me get better at some point. But and then I improved. They're shocked to see how far I came. Despite the fact that I've gotten better than some school years. Some people told me, you know, if you're that good, there's always room for improvement. Once I make a commitment, I never go back. That's my only motto. Okay. I like that motto, man. Now, when you say positive criticism, was it were you always met with positive criticism or was it like sometimes a little more on the mean side? Well, um, positive criticism or constructive criticism. Despite the fact they are grilling me with love by being mean. They're like, hey, I think you could rephrase that, buddy. I think you could rephrase that verse. I think you could rephrase the chorus or hook or the post chorus. They're like, dude, why are you saying the same thing? Like move on to the next part. For, well, for like from hearing that, cause I, I never really like heard your story and like how you got started off. So like all those years, like just getting just criticism after criticism, like what made you continue to keep going with it? Because if like if I was in your position, I don't think I'd be strong enough to like continue doing it. So like, is this something like you truly love? Absolutely, man. This is what I truly love. 
And I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. Well, haters have nothing to do. They're doing this just to get a guffaw or a charcoal, sorry, chuckle chortle out of their laugh. They want to hate on them so they think they can feel better about themselves. As myself, as my perspective, they just want to hate on me because they haven't heard me before. Well, that's okay. Like some people told me, take hate as motivation. Like whenever I see a hater, whenever I see a hater comment on my Instagram live or YouTube live or someone else's live, they just hate just to feel better about themselves. I just told them, hey, man, I appreciate your opinion, but you do you and I do me. And you see the look from my face means that I can't tolerate this no more. And that's the point of it. That's the point of the game because they're getting the fade. They think that you smoke to the heat. You know, at some points I have to work on my tone of voice and attitude, Alejandro. And you see that in me too. Like you listen to my song, Top of the Mountain, and you liked it too. I represent. Yeah, I know you did. That represents you moving forward, no matter what it takes. I mean, that's great. I mean, because I can easily tell just like, like by the way you're talking about it, like you, you definitely like feed off of like this like hate and everything like that. Which, man, I wish I had more of like your courage and everything. You know, like to just face it like like that and literally feed off of it. I could tell it feeds you, <laughs> which I find really inspiring. Uh, how? How long have you wanted to like become an artist? Like how long did it take from like going from lunch table to lunch table to actually putting out music? Lunch table to lunch table. Well, I basically freestyle rap because I don't know if I can get into writing raps, like coming from the bottom of my heart, getting the notebook, composition book, a pen in my hand and the pencil lead or pen lead, whatever you like to call it, because most rappers write with pens or pencils in their right or left hand. Despite the fact that I got the pen in my hand, I can just write. Some people tell me, keep writing, keep producing, keep striving, keep growing. That's what my brother told me. My brother, Sivan, Alejandro, me and him hang out with his friends. We do like a little cipher or something. And despite the fact that I was not getting better at the cipher thing, me and him freestyle in the car every day we go out. Well, that's the importance of having fun. He got friends that rap too. I have a friend named Tyrone Bell. He's part of a group with a brother called Yokai Performance with cars and stuff. He has a brother, no, I mean, not a brother. Scratch that out of the head. He has a friend, like, look alike. He looks like him. He's like his twin. His name is Johnny Jedetro. At first, he heard me rap. They think, I don't know. I feel like you're overthinking to barely rhyme. Therefore, you can't do it. Got some people say on Instagram live when I go with someone that I know or someone that I actually knew from a long time or back or some people joining my live or requesting or putting the phone near my Mac, camera face towards me. Hate by hate comments. Scrolling up and down to see. Some people told me, don't look at the comments. Don't look at the comments, bro. I'm like, bro, they have to know. Who the hell you're hating on? And despite the fact I was not trying my best, they hate. But I want to try my best because, you know, I'm not going to be their kicking bag. I'm just sure. going to move on and do me no matter what it takes. Some people told me, I appreciate your confidence of you putting it out there. You got potential and skill, but you got to work on something. Still got better, but there's more room for improvement. I don't know why I always keep saying the same thing when I freestyle. Like, for example, if any even say along with the, it will be like that. If I should, if I could, that's some easy rhymes. I have to expand my growth. I mean, overall, that just takes practice. I mean, I'm not like a rapper or anything like that. I mean, hearing hearing you and your songs, I'm like, man, I wish I could do something like this. I'm not talented enough uh, to like rap or anything like that. So like, I definitely like the way you just, you kind of handle things like you always see there's always room for improvement and there always is room for improvement which i mean man i mean for you to put out stuff like you know you can improve upon but you still put it out there and like you're always like on instagram live always posting i mean it takes a lot of courage and not everyone has like that type of courage because 
who knows maybe there's someone it there's someone out there that has maybe more talent but yet they never take that like first step of just having the courage to post it there because they're maybe they're afraid of the hate comments and all that type of stuff so like hearing you just you don't care you don't bat an eye towards them like you just do what makes like you happy like i i love hearing that and i kind of want to transition to where you are now because we talked a little bit about your past where would you say are you in your journey right now i am right in the difficulty level but not difficulty there's like three levels in the game like easy beginner medium average expert large at any other time it's like a smoothie cup whenever going out to smoothie king and all that if you're drinking smoothies out of a cup with a straw among the local courts gulpi you have this craving in your system that got affects to your brain therefore it makes you more hungry that you're doing like people stress eating food because they want to release their stress cells but my brother really wants me to strive my best no matter what and my friends too they think i can do it my mother thinks i can do it my father thinks i can do it friends think i can do it you think i can do it everyone thinks i can do it cuz alejandro you like deeper meaning lyrics you like lyrics that are deeper meaning of it yeah yeah i remember telling you about that yeah i remember you telling me you like deeper meaning in lyrics like Kanye West or something, J. Cole, apparently. Well, he raps real stuff. And I rap about real stuff from my background. I don't rap about sex, drugs, money. Yeah. <laughs> You're not like the average. You don't want to be the average. You want to you wanna have like more meaning to your music and everything like that. Yeah. Which I, so which I respect. I respect that a lot. Yeah. Some people told me I may be average, but you know, there's always at the top. There may be one, but it's like baby steps to success. It's like your first steps whenever you're an infant. It's like climbing up, climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. Finally made it to the top of the mountain that I can seek. I'm not going to sit down and be a couch potato watching TV and not care about my rap. I'm just going to get up from my chair and go all the way to the top of the mountain. It's like in Rocky Balboa when he ran to the top of the stairs and he is holding his hands up, climbing around and triumphant. No, we're not climbing around. He was just jumping around and triumphant with his teeth smiling and how he got his hunger back. Alejandro, you are hungry for your podcast and me? I'm hungry for whatever I become. And this, you can see the look on my face that I really want to do it. I want to make it. It's I'm not even people. just a look, to be honest. I can tell, like, because people can be all up, up front about, like, talking and, like, oh, yeah, I'm all about this and that. But they never actually show it through their actions. I can tell, like, from what you do on social media and everything and your music itself, like, you're definitely doing it. So I think at this point, I mean, like, I love how you said, like, your parents and, like, your family supports you. Man, I got your back. I, I definitely see you succeeding one day if you if you don't even consider this success yet. Because I feel like, like you said, there's always room for improvement. Everyone has room to improve. I have room to improve. And I thank you for, like, you know, like, seeing that I have hunger for my podcast. Because I, I can see that you have hunger for your success, for what you're about to become in the near future. And I think for you, it's just patience man and just perseverance just keep pushing through and i think you're gonna get there eventually man like no cap <laughs> definitely no lie i don't no care lie, what they think exactly who cares what the haters think man if they yeah. have the time if they have the time of day for you to be living rent free in their head and for them to waste their time to just hate on you to feel better about their own insecurities then why give them the time of day at all? Like, sure, maybe take from their criticism and feed off of it, but there's really no point in listening to the haters. It's really the biggest challenge to success is like just yourself. It's not anyone around you. It's what you are made of. And I, and I can see that you're made of something truly special that not many people have 
the will to tap into. So I applaud you, man. Hats off. Hats off to you, man. Now, and I'm sorry to like kind of cut you off earlier, but like how like how many albums and how many singles do you have out right now? Well, I'm gonna be releasing an album on November 30th called Rapping Tall. Okay. Pretty sure you saw the album cover on my Instagram and Snapchat. By the way, I'll be leaving all of his links for his music and social media down in the description below. So make sure to check it out and listen to him. Now, I also I also want to ask you, like, uh, like I don't know, I guess like this is like a random question, but like, what is your favorite, like, what is the most favorite song that you have created so far? Like, what is your most favorite one? My most favorite one is Top of the Mountain. Because, like you said, Alejandro, you relate to this. What can you relate to it, by, by the way? I meant to ask you. Just a drive for like just wanting to improve yourself. Like no matter whether you get to the top or not, it's all about, you know, just because once you get to like the top of the mountain and everything, I mean, who's it's it's going to be a constant battle of who's going to take you down. You don't want to be taken down. So it's just basically a battle between you and yourself. That's how I see it right now. So I don't see it as me going against a different podcast or anything. It's just what am I setting my limits on? Am I limiting myself right now? Or can I do more than what I have been doing? And that's how I relate to it. True that, Alejandro, true. Like, despite the fact I've gotten better than high school or middle school, whatever, many years ago, there's always room for improvement, you can see. I don't know why I sound dry, like, I don't know why I sound dry in my raps, but I have to add emotion and charisma to it. Like, I have to add emotion and charisma. Nothing rhymes with that, but I'll go with charisma. See the raspy voice. I think that's just time and practice, man. I mean, at least you're noticing it. It's not like you're batting an eye at it. It's like, you, you notice it. It's in your head. Now you just have to figure out ways to fix it or improve upon it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think you'll get there, man. I, I definitely think you'll get there. Now, I kind of want to switch over a little bit to your ambitions as well and like where you want to be in the near future. So where do you want to be in like the next year? Like if we were to go a full year from now at this exact point, so 2021, where would you want to be? Where would I want to be? In 2021? In 2021. I want to be at this area where I want to be signed to a record company, scratch that out. I'm still upcoming, believe me or not. To everyone out here, deny me or not, love me or hate me, I don't care. One day I'll make it. Amen. Now, do Amen. you really want to, do you really want to be signed to a label eventually, or do you want to kind of go like, Chance the Rapper, like kind of just going all on your own. Like Chance the Rapper going out on my own or be signed to a record company? Yeah. I think I want to be on my own basically because these record labels are looking for multi-talented people who are multitasking their brain and what they can gain from by their hunger. Despite the fact that um, Lady Baby got signed to Atlantic Records or Eminem got signed to Interscope or Dr. Dre. Like they got many artists out here who got potential, who rapped longer than me. And for me, Alejandro, I'm still new at this. But one day I'll make it. I see watching many, I see rappers, music videos and lyrics and how their delivery sounds. And I got to get their inspiration. I mean, I could definitely tell you're the type of person to like actually study that stuff. And not, not you're not doing it as like work or anything. You're doing it just because you just have that type of hunger. And that's, this is like something that you truly love. Uh, do you have any new projects or albums coming out? I know you talked about the new album coming out November 30th. Is there anything else after that you see or have you planned it out that far? Well, I'm gonna say it once since I already said it again. I'm gonna be releasing an album on November 30th. It's called Rapping Tall, twice. Rapping Tall. The description of this album it's about me striving to success of my hunger and how could I be better at this? And that should be it. That should be it. Respect for that, man. 
Thank you so much for your time, Prashant. Um, before we end the video, actually, I want to know how are you enjoying your life so far? How how are you enjoying enjoying this journey? It's getting better, no matter what it takes. Are you saying you enjoy it so far, and it's always going to get better? <laughs> really, I enjoy it, but there's many practicing I have to do. I'm enjoying it. I really love this rapping thing. I love rapping. I'm glad to hear that, man. Now, I also want for you to list, do you have actually one advice that you feel is important for everyone who is listening to this right now to live by? Well, um, I'm not that much of an expert, but one thing, do what makes it happy, period. If haters hate, I don't care what they think. You don't care what they think. They just want to hate on you just to get a laugh. If someone goes up and you say, hey, I don't think you're better. You suck. You just tell them, hey, man, I appreciate your opinion, but you do you, I do me, all right? Have a great day. And just walk away. That's some, that's some great advice, man. Now, before we end the video, do you want to give a shout out to anyone or yourself or anything else that you have to say? Um, I would like to give a big shout out to my brother, Sivan, Tyron Bell, who's like my brother. Alexander Ifanga, Jacquez Boyd, Jorge Cavazos, Joe David Mendoza, Danny Blumker, Haley Bliss for helping me become better at everything that I can and striving my best to success. The only thing I want to give a big shout out to is you, Nick. No, not you. Uh, no, uh, I, mean, I didn't mean to say Nick. I'm sorry. Alejandro Soleil. Alejandro, because me and him knew, knew each other since high school, and he hasn't heard my stuff yet. But he's on the basis of her hearing me right now, and he believes me that I'm getting better. I never heard you, like, uh, what's it called? I never knew, like, you were going, like, table to table, like, kind of rapping. Uh, and I remember we, we weren't, like, like, close in high school, but, like, you would reach out to me. It was very kind of you, and, like, you kept promoting your stuff to me. And I was like, hey, like, you know, like, I enjoy the stuff what you're doing. Like, keep doing it. You're gonna inspire people around you. And uh, um, thank you for shouting me out. Uh, I mean, I want to shout you out because I mean, just hearing the way you talk about like, you feed off of like almost everything just because this is something you truly want to get better at. I mean, talent can take you so far in life, but work ethic and like just perseverance and like what you have, that'll take you further in life than talent alone. So. Man, I can't wait to see where you're going to end up in one year from now, you know, and see how this album comes out. Um, I truly think it's just time for you. And like, I definitely think you're going to get there eventually. So please don't don't stop what you're doing. Just continue doing what you're doing. And just thank you for giving me the time of day to come on to my podcast, man. I, I really appreciate it. And I really enjoyed talking with you today. So thank hey, you. Man. So much, Thank you, man. And thank yeah. you to all the viewers who uh, decided to stay till the end. You guys are the very best. Shout out to all of you guys uh, who are still subscribed to the channel. You know, this is going to be our 21th episode or 21st episode. Uh, so thank you guys for the ride so far. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next week's podcast. So take care, guys.